Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on February 15th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. And welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. Things quieting down since the past week or so. We've seen multiple M-class solar flares. Only seeing one today multiple C-class solar flares throughout the last two days. Having a look at the last two days incoming imagery. Cresting in, we do have some unstable sunspot regions. And right now there are nine sunspots Earth-facing. Having a look at the last 48 hours outgoing plasma filaments whipping and swirling around the surface and as well jetting away. We've seen a couple events take off from the back side of the sun as well having a look at multi-spectrum here pointing out the last two days of events on our sun and as well pointing out the coronal holes in which we have two small ones that are earth facing right now and as well a couple in the southern hemisphere and we're already seeing an increase in the solar winds up and over 500 kilometers per second. Having a look at another light, amazing images of our sun brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed here with daily events worldwide, looking at nine sunspot regions. Have a quick look here at those sunspot regions in motion, especially in the Northern Hemisphere Current space weather conditions, we are still under R1 and S1 solar radiation and radio blackout impacts expected. As you can see here, solar X-ray flux did show a minor M-class solar flare just recently in the last few hours and pretty static throughout the day with C-class solar flares. Geomagnetic activity slightly hopped up and that I'm sure is due to the increased solar winds which we're seeing. Space weather prediction spiral looking quite different compared to what it has been the last few days. It was showing all of those CME events. And it looks like we've got a few days without right after the coronal hole wind stream. And it seems that that solar storm that was coming our way was heading south of our planet. Speaking of which, looking at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral here, showing our sun and all the planets spinning around. Little yellow circle being Earth and all of the cosmic energy leaving the sun. See me, most recent, taking off from the backside towards Venus. Having a look at the real-time solar wind, we're up in over 500 kilometers per second right now, 495. But that was quite a jump from 382 to almost 500. Having a look at our magnetosphere now, showing our solar winds penetrating our planet and its magnetosphere. Watch for those solar winds to increase from what, 380 kilometers per second to almost 500 in a matter of seconds. Having a look at the pressure planes pressure has been off throughout the day but instantly with this most recent geomagnetic instability the pressure is on right there having a look at the last go to showing the last two days of imagery noticeable there pretty big cme on the back side of the sun right there and as well, all of that static and solar radiation coming through on the satellites from the last CMEs. And here is the most recent, pretty large one on the back side of the sun in a southward fashion. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours. As things have calmed down, we're only sitting at about 230 earthquakes. Just recently, a 5.2 in Peru. As well, notable here, 4.8 Ecuador 
and northward into Columbia, 4.7, 40 kilometer depth. This was a pretty quiet region yesterday, 4.3, 140 kilometer depth, Chile, 5.2, Pacific Antarctic Ridge, 10 kilometer depth. And as well, activity coming back to Puerto Rico, but pretty quiet, largest being a 3.4. Notable earthquake here at Loreto, Mexico, 5.1 in the Gulf of California. Lots of seismicity as of late throughout the region. Gulfo de Senta, 3.8, but quiet across the rest of the North American continent. Petersville, Alaska, largest through the region, being a 4.7. And lots of activity here. Kamchatka, right off the coast. Lots of activity. Japan as well. And things are widespread through the Philippines plate today. But residual with 4.5 ranging to 4.7. 5.8 earthquake there. Levuka, Fiji. Or sorry, Vanuatu. That was yesterday. Levuka, Fiji. Deepest earthquake today. 539 kilometer depth. Notable earthquake here. 4.1. Pate, New Zealand. Patia. And that is very close to a large volcano through the region. As well, a 5.0 there, Indian Plate. 5.0 magnitude reported in China, as well, a 4.5. And a 4.5 here, Abu Dhabi, Saudi Arabia. And this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Much love, everybody, and I appreciate you being here, a part of this channel, being able to witness these events unfold before our eyes and be documented here with Daily Events Worldwide. This is a look at the last seven days for Shakers around the world. We've seen some deep events this week without the large magnitude earthquakes, only seeing a 6.0 and a 6.1 the past seven days. And it's interesting how these earthquakes seem to increase in the seismicity and magnitude right around space weather events. But notable, quiet through Central America, the Cocos Plate. Heads up. Now let's have a look at weather brought to you by Windy.com. Having a look at the weather forecast for the next few days. Low pressure systems affecting eastern Canada and the United States right now, but drying out high pressure ridge behind that. Watch for some systems to come out of the Canadian prairies. And as well, a strong system moving up into the Atlantic provinces for the long range. And some big wintry systems coming in from, the, uh, from Alaska in the long range forecast as well. And a strong system for the coast of BC and Washington. Europe, same thing. You've got multiple low pressure systems coming through this week. And as well, Iceland and the southern tip of Greenland. Going to see some intense weather as that large low pressure system is still forecast and developed through the North Atlantic. But watching the long range forecast here, 24th into the 25th, some pretty strong systems heading into Ireland, the United Kingdom, and as well Northern Spain, and then through the Mediterranean as that system breaks down. So heads up my European friends, you do have some stormy conditions on your doorstep. Having a look here, the Southern Hemisphere, South Africa, Australia, and the Indian Ocean. Still some strong lows there forecast for Reunion Island and as well Northern Territory of Australia. But it looks like that small cyclone is forecast to go off land and then back on land. Interesting indeed. Have a quick look here at the North Pacific. As in the long range forecast, atmospheric river is forecast stretching from Taiwan to northern BC. Large atmospheric river and large winter storms. Have here a look at the snowfall totals for the next 10 days. Upwards of 300 centimeters through parts of Alaska, northern BC. And then overlooking North America and Canada, trace amounts through uh, central United States and into Ontario. Atlantic provinces seeing most of the snow here 
upwards of 50 centimeters of snow in the long range, and as well through the Pacific Northwest, upwards of 30 centimeters, higher elevations, more like 150 through the Sierra Nevadas, and look here, almost 300 centimeters forecast for Anchorage, as they are seeing a record snowfall amounts, and I'm sure there are many other places in the Northern Hemisphere right now with record snowfall amounts. And as well, record cold temperatures will be swinging around. So heads up. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.